Motivational Summaries presents to you the summary of Future Proofing You. 12 Truths for Creating Opportunity, Maximizing Wealth, and Controlling Your Destiny in an Uncertain World. Written by Jay Summit. Truth 1 of 12. You must have a growth mindset. Find ways for everyone to win and for you to learn and grow to succeed. In previous generations, wealth could come from working for a big company, accumulating, and then saving money over time. That doesn't really work today. Companies go out of business all the time, displaced by newer, leaner startups. To get rich today, you have to create wealth. That's what a growth mindset means. To illustrate, take the example of Jan Kum, a college dropout and Ukrainian immigrant. In 2009, he left his job at Yahoo and applied to work at Facebook, but was turned down. Therefore, he teamed up with his buddy, Brian Acton, and started a company called WhatsApp to provide instant messaging for mobile phones. Within five years, their 55-person company was sold to Facebook for $22 billion. Coom personally made $7.5 billion in five years on an idea he would likely have provided to Facebook for free, if only the company had hired him when he applied for a job. A zero-sum mindset is where you think you will make a dollar only if you take it from someone else's pocket. The growth mindset is great ideas create wealth, and you just have to figure out ways to retain part of that added value. To foster and develop a growth mindset, 1. Always look at failures as learning opportunities, rather than your end destination. Focus on learning how to overcome obstacles and you start to enjoy the journey. 2. Forget about trying to get the approval of others. They are too busy thinking about their own lives and issues. Ask for their feedback and criticism instead. That will help you learn from experiences you won't need to have. 3. Keep a daily journal, where you track your progress. Doing this will change your mindset and help you keep a big-picture perspective. Set daily and weekly goals in your journal and track what worked and what did not. Keeping a journal will accelerate forming a growth mindset. 4. Focus inwardly on your mindset, and not on your outward image. You don't need the validation of others to get wealthy. Listen to what your internal voice is saying is possible, and go after that. 5. Do all you can to learn and grow from the mistakes of others. To shorten your own path to success, take risks and try new ideas, but also learn from those with experience. 6. Be grateful, and find practical ways every day to practice gratitude identify and write in your journal something you're grateful for every day. Jay Samet said, quote, A growth mindset is one trait that separates achievers from failures. It gives you the outlook and perspective to see obstacles for what they really are, short-term events that momentarily get in your way. From positivity and gratitude grow perseverance. Perseverance, by definition, makes you unstoppable. End quote. This is a summary of Future Proofing You. Truth 2 of 12. Obstacles are opportunities in disguise. The best way to get ahead is to learn from your mistakes. Jay Samet said, quote, Obstacles, not products, are the source of creating wealth. Solve a problem for your friends, you are popular. Solve for a few million, you become rich. Remove an obstacle for a billion, and you change the world. Solving for others is at the heart of every great product, service, or company. End quote. From time immemorial, people have been trained to buy low, sell high. Wrong. You build wealth by removing obstacles for your customers. Sam Walton removed the obstacle of families in smaller towns needing to plan trips to big cities to load up on supplies, and generated a business generating more than $500 billion a year. Thankfully, obstacles are everywhere, just waiting for great solutions to become available. If you don't believe that, take the 3 problems a day, 30 day challenge. Starting today, 
write down three new obstacles you have come across in your personal or business life today. Write each problem on a 3x5 card. By the end of a month, you'll have more problems to solve than you can ever get to. Obstacles are everywhere, and these are all opportunities to create wealth. To decide which of those problems you should get busy and solve, 1. Dig deeper into the problem and clarify what's the real underlying issue here. 2. Define what success looks like, what a great solution would look like and feel like. 3. Brainstorm solutions, both practical and far-fetched. Get lots of ideas on the table. Ask for other people's ideas and viewpoints as well. 4. Assess all your alternative solutions and figure out one or two alternatives that look affordable and effective. 5. Select your best idea and validate it works. Make a prototype and ask people what they think. 6. Fine-tune your solution and then get it out to a wider group of people. Actively analyze the data for clues on how people are thinking. 7. Keep progressively evaluating and upgrading your product and solution. Take the customer feedback you get and come up with progressively better versions of your product. Albert Einstein said, quote, It's not that I'm so smart, it's just that I stay with problems longer. End quote. Richard Branson said, quote, Solving problems means listening. End quote. Gerhard Geschwanter said, quote, Problems are nothing but wake-up calls for creativity. This is a summary of Future Proofing You. 12 Truths of Future Proofing Truth 3 of 12 Fear is good. Use it to drive you forward. Openly acknowledge your fears and then use them for motivation to excel. Jay Samet said, quote, Entrepreneurs live with a cornucopia of persistent fears. Fears of running out of money, fear of competition, and the fear of facing family and friends who trusted us with their money. Anyone seeking to change the status quo will face constant rejection and public humiliation. With fear so hardwired into the very core of our being, the only way for entrepreneurs to thrive is to embrace fear. Courage is not the absence of fear, but the ability to persist in spite of it. End quote. To use fear to drive you forward, 1. If someone asks why you leave a job to start your own business, point out this puts your future in your own hands. That's better than worrying about the financial viability of your previous employer. 2. If someone asks how you will fund your new business, point out the real question is, to whom should I give the opportunity to fund my new company? There's plenty of money out there, you just have to learn how to ask for it. 3. If someone asks whether you're afraid to go broke, point out most success stories have initial failures in their history. The key is to keep failing until you succeed. When you have no fear of failure, you multiply your chances of success. The very best way to address your fears is to ask yourself WTWTCH questions. What's the worst thing that could happen? When you ask that and realize that even if everything goes to custard, you will survive, and your fears will dissipate. The other big fear is FOMO, fear of missing out. More often than not, FOMO leads to inaction. You can use FOMO as a great sales tool whenever there are three or four companies competing in the same marketplace. Just dropping a hint that everyone else is using your product or service and not doing so will be a major lost opportunity can work wonders. Lots of people also fear public humiliation. This is closely related to FOMO. Offset fear of humiliation by pointing out all human progress requires people to be trying what doesn't work until they discover what does. Therefore, stay forward-focused and keep moving forward one step at a time. It's the progress that counts, not the learning incidents along the way. Les Brown said, quote, Too many of us are not living our dreams because we are living our fears. End quote. This is a summary of Future Proofing You, 12 Truths of Future Proofing. 
Truth 4 of 12. Failure is great. It's part of the journey. You learn more from your failures than you ever do from success. Start learning. Jay Samet said, quote, Vacuum cleaners suck. In 1979, when a young boat designer purchased what claimed to be the most powerful vacuum cleaner in the world, he was frustrated. Rather than sucking up the dirt, it mostly just pushed it around his workshop floor. Having once visited a sawmill that used a cyclonic separator to remove sawdust from the air, he wondered why the same technology couldn't be used in a home vacuum cleaner. Anticipating instant wealth, he quit his job and quickly built a working prototype. But the prototype needed improving. He spent the next five years and every penny of savings trying to build prototype after prototype of his bagless vacuum cleaner. While his wife worked to support his obsession, everyone else laughed at him. After his first 5,126 prototypes failed, James Dyson's 5,127th prototype made him a $5 billion fortune. Best of all, he did it without any investors or shareholders. The Dyson Cyclone may suck, but James Dyson's future-proof life certainly doesn't. End quote. Obviously, nobody likes to fail, but to succeed, you have to outlive and overcome temporary setbacks and failures along the way. To learn to embrace failure, 1. Love what you do, and never begrudge any experience in which you learned something new. Remind yourself success is more about the journey and not just a destination. Keep going. 2. Stay confident, even in the face of temporary setbacks. Embrace your failures as a way to find better solutions in the future. 3. Bulk up your coping skills. Have a list of what you can do to clear your mind after a setback. Some people like to go for a walk on the beach. Others take a warm bubble bath. Find what works for you and keep moving forward. 4. Above all, don't give up. Remind yourself you might be just a tiny step away from success. Sometimes, you just have to fail yourself to victory. Keep gaining more skills and knowledge you can use in the future. Chinese entrepreneur Jack Ma is famous for not only failing his college entrance exams for three years in a row, but also for being turned down for a job at his local Kentucky Fried Chicken. He kept going and built websites for other companies for five years before starting an enterprise called Alibaba. Today, Jack Ma's personal fortune stands at more than $46 billion. Mickey Rooney said, quote, You can always pass failure on the way to success. End quote. Jay Samet said, quote, Jeff Bezos knew what Amazon's business model was when the company was just him and his desktop computer. Jeff Bezos knew Amazon had to invest heavily in infrastructure to dominate e-commerce and his investors gave him the time and capital to build a trillion-dollar empire. Bezos wasn't profitable for nearly a decade, but by the time he had proven his business model, he was the richest person in the world. Put another way, Bezos kept losing money until he was the richest man in the world. End quote. This is a summary of Future Proofing You, 12 Truths of Future Proofing, Truth 5 of 12. Your superpower makes you successful. Ignite your superpower by applying what makes you unique. Master your power. Every person on the planet is unique, including you. There will be something you do incredibly well, your superpower. To become truly future-proof, identify your superpower and then take full advantage of it. Jay Samet said, quote, Superpowers define us and guide us. They are the talent that strengthens everything we do in life and frame our personal brand. The sooner you can identify and grow your superpower, the further your career will go. Knowing your superpower changes everything, says blogger and life coach Natalie Bardo. End quote. To find your true superpower, Answer these five questions. 1. What comes naturally to you? Your superpower has more than likely been there since birth, 
and maybe you just haven't noticed it yet. When something comes easy to you that others struggle with, that's a pretty big clue. That's your superpower. Pay attention. 2. What do you do better than everyone else? Be honest. Clarify what you currently do to an impressively high level, and you have a pretty good hint of what you can be world-class at with more effort and training. This is your superpower in waiting. 3. What makes time disappear for you? Again, this is a pretty good indicator that you're doing something which draws on your superpower. Craig Newmark was laid off from a programming job at Charles Schwab, but he loved coding so much he kept going in his spare time. He created a message board where local events and jobs could be listed. Today, Craigslist generates 50 billion page views a month, making Craig a billionaire. 4. When friends ask you for advice, why are they coming to you? Friends will see your superpowers before you will. Take notice of what they ask you about. 5. What would you do if money didn't matter? That will be your superpower in action. When you identify your superpower, make sure you also identify your kryptonite as well. It will be there, so acknowledge it and know what you need to avoid. This is a summary of Future Proofing You, 12 Truths of Future Proofing. Truth 6 of 12. Passion will make you unstoppable. Perfect the learned skill of persistence to turn your passions into success. Jay Samet said, quote, At age 65 and living off of $99 a month social security check, most people figured the old man had retired and given up on his dream. Knowing how much his family and friends raved about his fried chicken recipe, he hopped in his old car and drove all over America peddling his recipe. The first 1,009 restaurants he pitched turned him down and told him to give it up and head back to Kentucky. When he was told yes at the 1,010th and restaurant, that one sale propelled Colonel Harlan Sanders' Kentucky Fried Chicken onto becoming the second largest restaurant chain in the world with over 22,000 locations and $23 billion in annual revenue. End quote. Passion drives persistence and grit. Persistence is a learned skill rather than something you're born with. It comes from being open to new experiences and being driven by a compelling purpose. You then have to get into action making the right things happen. Tony Robbins said, quote, The path to success is to take massive, determined action. A real decision is measured by the fact that you've taken a new action. If there's no action, you haven't truly decided. End quote. To cultivate passion, ask yourself, 1. Would your fourth grade self be proud of who you have become? 2. What makes time stand still for you? 3. If you had a billion dollars, how would you save the world? 4. If you only had a year to live, what would you do? Figuring out your passion is great and helpful. It will give you a why. To maintain passion and stay on course, six techniques you can use are 1. Build a support network of equally passionate people and spend time with them on a regular basis. Enthusiasm is contagious. 2. Write down your own tangible goals and outline all the micro-steps needed to achieve them. Something magic always happens when you commit your goals to paper. 3. Devote some time each day to work on your goals, and be 100% consistent about doing that. Success is usually cumulative, not a one-time event. 4. Develop a reward system that you love. This will keep your life and career fun and exciting. Decide on some spectacular prizes. 5. Make sure your goals are your goals and they're not just a collection of what other people think you should do. You can't fake passion. 6. Don't assume money alone will motivate you. It's not just a scorecard, it's passion that matters, not amassing stuff you don't really care about. This is a summary of 
future-proofing you. 12 Truths of Future-Proofing Truth 7 of 12 You can't go it alone. Find good mentors. Link up with people who have the experience you need to get ahead. Get help. Hollywood loves the myth of the lone innovator who goes it alone and changes the world. Real life is much messier than that. When you're first starting out at anything, your success is going to be limited by your lack of experience. The only feasible way to offset that is to get advice and insider tips from a mentor who can guide you. Success is a team sport, not a solo endeavor. Jay Samet said, quote, No one ever built a billion-dollar company without employees, investors, business partners, and customers. Consider, for a moment, how many people it takes to make a smartphone. We all rely on our phones every day to run our lives. And yet, there is not a single person on the planet who can make an iPhone from scratch, from mining to swiping. Knowing how to mine uridium, terbium, lithium, and gadolinium from the earth is a vastly different field of knowledge than knowing how to manufacture a silicon chip or program in Swift or Objective-C. It takes thousands of discrete knowledge sets to make the phone and thousands more to create the network infrastructure that makes it useful. No one person possesses all of the knowledge and skill sets to do what it takes to succeed. And even if you could learn how to do it all yourself, wouldn't you want to accelerate the process by learning from those who have done it before? Sir Isaac Newton, who many consider one of the most influential scientists of all time, admitted, If I have seen further, it is by standing on the shoulders of giants. End quote. LinkedIn is a great place to find a mentor who can guide you towards opportunities and away from pitfalls. To find a good mentor there, 1. Look at who is writing and posting interesting articles online. And reach out to people who seem to have the same passions as you. Make a personal connection and see what develops from there. 2. Look carefully at their LinkedIn profiles for insights into their character. Endorsements from other people they may have mentored are good signs. 3. Their volunteer experiences will also hold valuable clues as to whether they enjoy helping people at the start of their journey. The more connected someone successful is, the better a mentor they could be for you as well. Ideally, you want to try to build a network of mentors who have different strengths and passions. That way, you can pick and choose the best ideas and approaches. You can also use mentorship to build your team by bringing on board peers and people you want to mentor as well. That's a great way to find people with skill sets which address your blind spots. This is a summary of Future Proofing You, 12 Truths of Future Proofing, Truth 8 of 12. Every business today is a tech startup. Make sure you are harnessing the digital technologies which will help you scale. John Chambers, CEO of Cisco, said, quote, At least 40% of all businesses will die in the next 10 years if they don't figure out how to change their entire company to accommodate new technologies. End quote. The only way your business and career will grow in the future is if you harness technology in smart ways and build a digital business. Every business today is a technology business, whether they realize it or not. For example, look at Domino's Pizza. Making pizza is hardly a digital business, right? Today, Domino's has more people working in its IT department than in its restaurants. The company has built an app, creates marketing that reaches customers, designs social media content customers engage with, recruits new franchise owners, and manages a vast digital supply chain all online. Making pizza is the smallest part of the business. But, thanks to its technology, Domino's stock price has risen more than 2,000% since 2010. Domino's is a tech startup that happens to make pizza. Jay Samet said, quote, Perhaps venture capitalist and web pioneer Mark Andreessen said it most succinctly. Software is eating the world. With more than 6 billion customers just one click away, there is no better location to make your first million. 
or nearly every product and service you can think of, Google, Facebook, and Yelp are more important to brick-and-mortar retailers than the old adage of location, location, location. If Google can't find you, how will your customers? End quote. You might assume that to run a tech startup, you have to be a coder or an engineer, but that's not true. Steve Jobs built Apple into a trillion-dollar company without ever learning how to code or being an engineer. Jack Ma didn't even own a computer until he was in his 30s, and he still managed to build Alibaba into a substantial online enterprise. You don't even need to build your own website. In the UK, it is estimated eBay created more than 1,000 new millionaires in 2017 alone. The digital world has also made it easier for small business to compete. Tender might have 5 million members and generate $1.2 billion a year, but its major competitor, eFlirt.com, was launched with $50 and a Twitter account. Procter & Gamble sells more than $2.7 billion of Gillette razors every year, but Dollar Shave Club launched in 2011 to go after that market. Five years later, Dollar Shave Club was sold to Unilever for $1 billion. The big challenge today is time management. There are so many digital distractions that it's easy to fritter away work time on what's interesting instead of focusing on what's important. Be prepared to say no to lots of things so you can get the right things done. Delegate aggressively to remove clutter from your day and make sure you're using all the digital tools you can to handle as much of your back office tasks as feasible. Make time for what matters most. Jay Samet said, quote, Nearly all of the functions performed by scores of employees at major corporations are now available for free, as open-source software or apps that can be leveraged when needed and abandoned when obsolete. Big corporations can't be as nimble to respond to new opportunities because they are mired in annual planning cycles and entrenched in hierarchical structures. End quote. This is a summary of Future Proofing You. 12 Truths of Future Proofing. Truth 9 of 12. You must fill a unique void to succeed. Be certain you're filling a void that really exists, not starting an entirely raw industry. Eric Schmidt, executive chairman of Google, said, quote, The characteristic of great innovators and great companies is they see a space that others do not. They don't just listen to what people tell them, they actually invent something new, something that you didn't know you needed. But the moment you see it, you say, I must have it. End quote. Every successful new product creates new adjacent markets or voids. When Apple launched its iPhone in 2007, it created a void for accessories, which is today a $68 billion a year market. It also created incredible demand for apps and content. In 2017, five millennials from Ipswich, England, ran an Indiegogo campaign for their new iPhone Limitless case, which generated almost $2.5 million in advance orders from more than 50,000 customers, before their case had even gone into production. Filling voids can be incredibly profitable. 1. Look for mortar markets. Niche markets, which are too small for the big players to worry about. The big companies are making the bricks for your industry, and you choose a business making the mortar that holds the bricks in place. For example, GoPro acquired two video editing apps for $105 million rather than fiddle around with making them itself. Beats developed headphones for Apple products and was then acquired by Apple for $3 billion. 2. Look for cross-pollination markets, like how Elon Musk has combined an automobile with an iPhone to create an app on wheels called Tesla. Combining biology and digital computer science has generated biotech. The future will see 5G, cloud computing, wearables, and artificial intelligence get cross-pollinated over and over again to create all kinds of cross-pollination ideas and products. All of these collaborations will spark new voids. 
How can we make money from filling voids? You can start a new service business to provide capabilities to people who don't want to invest in or master new technology. Companies now use drones to help farmers optimize their crops and then use that information to predict commodities market movements. You can apply new technology to old problems, for example, become a professional profile creator for LinkedIn or a social media expert for a brand. You can find voids others are too busy to fill and offer your services. Upwork grosses more than $1 billion a year by connecting digital freelancers to businesses that need their help. This is a summary of Future Proofing You, 12 Truths of Future Proofing. Truth 10 of 12. Spatial reality is a trillion dollar opening. Find ways to take your business mobile and interconnected. This is big. Spatial reality is the fusion of more than 14 billion smartphones in use today with 20 billion plus sensors now connected to the Internet of Things. It means that computers can now build a data-rich virtualized world known as spatial computing. The commercial possibilities of this new world are engaging. Jay Samet said, quote, Mobile centricity will expand into a graphical and data overlay of our cities and homes. Spatial reality will be as vital to the success of a two-person startup as it is to the largest multinational conglomerate. If I was building a company today, the biggest opportunity I see for maximizing wealth is spatial reality. All the truths we have so far explored can now coalesce around grabbing a piece of this trillion-dollar opportunity. The easiest way I know of of future-proofing you is to grab some of the billion-dollar opportunities this technological revolution is unleashing. A thousand old problems will be solved and a myriad of new voids will be created. End quote. The applications of spatial reality are incredibly diverse. For example, IKEA found 14% of their returns were because consumers purchased furniture too large for their homes. They developed a spatial app which lets customers test IKEA furniture in their homes before they purchase. Disney World lets you pre-order food with an app which can tell you when it will walk through the door. Pretty much all marketing will go spatial. Spatial computing and spatial reality will be seismic in their reach. When information is fed on demand and based on location, nobody will need search. If every location has selling and marketing potential, e-commerce and advertising become muted. Spatial reality will disrupt the business models of Apple, Facebook, Google, Netflix, and Amazon to name a few obvious starters. To take advantage of these coming changes, the MOVE method is required. MOVE M mindset O obstacles or opportunities V voids will be created E execution will be the difference M mindset is everything keep a positive growth mindset and look for how life will be enhanced by this upcoming augmented world O obstacles are opportunities there will be loads of previously impossible tasks which will suddenly become manageable when a digital spatial reality overlay gets applied. Voids will be created. Massive market openings will come along, but equally, there will be spaces the big players can't get to. You may be able to come up with some new app which the big tech companies will pay you millions to have as a new user case study. E. Execution will be the difference between an interesting idea and wealth that lasts for generations. Find the right mentors, partners, and employees to bring your vision to life. Augmentation will revolutionize education, corporate training, and healthcare. Virtualization will revolutionize shopping. Link up with people who can help you code the future, fund the future, and start companies to fill the voids. Jay Samet said, quote, Spatial reality is poised to be the greatest transfer of wealth in history and the opportunity of a lifetime. End quote. This is a summary of Future Proofing You, 
12 Truths of Future Proofing Truth 11 of 12 Working hard won't make you rich, but working smart definitely will. Master the creative ways to structure capital transactions so you catapult ahead. In 1971, a 27-year-old filmmaker tried to get Hollywood Studios to back him. His first and second movies had flopped, and now he wanted to make a big-budget science fiction serialized set of movies. Every studio passed on the project until, eventually, 20th Century Fox agreed to back it if the director would do it for a $50,000 director's fee. George Lucas agreed, as long as he would be granted the sequel rights. 20th Century Fox agreed and were stunned when Star Wars became the highest-grossing film of all time in 1977. Desperate to make the sequel, those same executives went back to George Lucas. This time, Lucas agreed to give Fox the sequel if he could have the merchandising rights for the entire franchise royalty-free. Fox agreed, and George Lucas would go on to sell more than $32 billion in Star Wars licensed products, making him a multi-billionaire. Jay Samet said, quote, Steven Spielberg became a billionaire from getting a percentage of Universal theme park ticket sales, not from directing movies. McDonald's founder made his money from real estate, not selling hamburgers. Mark Benioff became a billionaire because he saw Salesforce's software as a service and not a product. As you build your business, you will quickly discover that how you structure a business opportunity is even more important than what you are paid. Mastering the creative ways to structure capital transactions has the potential to catapult you into becoming a millionaire or billionaire and future-proofing you. End quote. If you're being paid by the hour, even if you're a highly paid professional, there's a ceiling on how much you can make. Learn how to negotiate smart deals. Specifically, to move ahead, get good at the three specific skills which will impact on your future. 1. Learn how to structure deals so you can create long-term recurring revenue streams rather than one-time payments. Align goals so you have upside potential. Go for a percentage of sales or equity. 2. Get to understand capital and how to raise money. Be very weary about accepting terms that will give all the benefits to your investors, not to you. Learn how to scale your business before you take on external investors. 3. Learn early how to reinvest your profits, so you have capital working for you. Every successful business does this, and the earlier you start investing, the more you will earn over time. Diversify by having multiple revenue streams. Warren Buffett said, quote, If you don't find a way to make money while you sleep, you will work until you die. End quote. This is a summary of Future Proofing You. 12 Truths of Future Proofing. Truth 12 of 12. Remote workers have become your new competitive advantage. Make sure you learn how to manage a remote workforce effectively. Thanks to the most recent pandemic, lots more companies have given their employees the option to work from home. This is likely to continue forever now that companies and employees have got used to it. To succeed with and get the most out of a dispersed team, there are five techniques to master. 1. Trust and transparency. Hire people you trust, but then make sure you trust the people you hire. The best remote workers will be self-starters and goal-oriented. If you find you have to micromanage your remote workers, that's a problem. Always launch teams and onboard your remote workers by setting clear expectations and having collectively agreed upon norms. 2. Create shared values by going overboard on evangelizing your messages. Encourage video communications wherever possible, even when people are in different time zones. Celebrate victories and promotions and consider scheduling a global in-person annual conference. These things bring life into your organization's shared values. 3. Work on your nonverbal communications and beef up your emotional intelligence skills. 
embrace cultural diversity by all means, and you will engender more loyalty from your team. Make your work output the yardstick for measuring effectiveness, and people will love being part of the team. 4. Always promote a healthy work-life balance, and encourage remote workers to have boundaries you respect as well. Most teams find it best to have established work availability hours with a definite hard stop to the normal work day. Don't expect remote workers to be available 24-7. 5. Invest in state-of-the-art remote management tools. For collaboration, workflow management, automation, content management, time tracking, conference calling, security, and so on. Use all the tools that are available now. Admittedly, there are always risks with building a remote team. Not everyone flourishes in this environment. Some remote workers feel disconnected and dissatisfied. There will always be a period of adjustment as new remote workers get used to working this way. However, if you are aware of these potential pitfalls and help people through these teething adjustments, you can build up a great team over time. Jay Samet said, quote, The advantages of leveraging a remote workforce will make your startup able to respond to changing market conditions faster, launch new products and services with less capital, and expand into new territories seamlessly. But none of these advantages will come to fruition if your virtual company isn't managed properly. End quote. This is a summary of Future Proofing You. Conclusion Future Proofing Your Business The 12 truths are a great way to future-proof your career, but to genuinely future-proof any company you build, learn how to use mergers and acquisitions and operate a sustainable business. These are becoming must-have business skills. Building a successful startup is great, but to lock in your gains at some stage, you're either going to need to go public or be acquired by a larger enterprise. Only about 3% of companies ever go public, so learning how to use mergers and acquisitions astutely is an essential part of becoming future-proof. Large companies acquire small companies for lots of different reasons. To access interesting new technology. To acquire an established revenue stream. To prevent a competitor coming into their space. To hire your talent and management team to make the bigger company look innovative. Just be aware that valuations of companies are incredibly flexible and that selling your company will be a huge distraction for your entire management team. Everything will grind to a halt if you're not careful. Jay Samet said, quote, Before considering any offer, you need to understand your personal goals and motivation for both starting and selling your company. Would you like to become wealthy when you're old, or would you like to start enjoying life now? Did you start the company to solve a problem or to become wealthy? Does the acquirer have the resources to take your mission further, or are they buying the company to just acquire talent? The clearer you are in your mind as to your goals and purpose, the easier it will be to evaluate any deal that emerges. End quote the easier it will be to evaluate any deal that emerges. End quote. Keep in mind that anyone can say they are interested in buying your company. That's just idle talk, unless they put together a detailed term sheet complete with a definitive expiry date. Most offers will follow initial points of contact, rather than materializing out of the blue. If you do get an offer that's in the right ballpark, make sure you act swiftly. Time pretty much always kills a potential deal. If someone is asking for sensitive information as part of due diligence, make sure you protect yourself. Talk with a good lawyer and get them to develop a bulletproof non-disclosure agreement for you. More often than not, that due diligence will focus on three things. 1. Your firm's intellectual property and whether you in fact own your IP or have borrowed it from elsewhere. 2. Your management team, and whether they would handle next-level growth in your business. 3. Your customers, and if they will be likely to stick around after the acquisition. 
Make sure you surround yourself with legal and tax advice, which will protect you during acquisition negotiations. An investment banker might also be good to get on board. They will take 1-2% to of the overall deal if that happens. But their savvy in structuring deals is worth all of that and more. A good investment banker may figure out a way to put $1 million more into your pocket. Always be 100% transparent during any negotiations. There are enough complexities involved without trying to remember what can be disclosed and what cannot. At some point, your company management, major investors, key business partners, and also your clients will have to be brought up to speed about what's happening. Be transparent with all these parties throughout, and you avoid any potential for lawsuits, management exodus, and other possibilities in the future. Selling yourself is great if it happens, but win or lose, there is no question anymore that capitalism is part of human activity which is affecting life on this planet. Today's consumers are asking for more sustainable business practices, and it makes sense to embrace those social responsibilities. Jay Samet said, quote, You can't become future-proof without future-proofing our world. End quote. Make sure your company uses sustainable business practices. Generate profits in ways that enhance rather than diminishing society. Purpose-driven profits and sustainable capitalism aren't just empty catch cries anymore. You need to have a business model which minimizes your firm's environmental footprint to attract good employees and investors today. Jay Samet said, quote, As the world's population nears 8 billion people, now more than ever, every business needs to focus sharing resources, benefiting the entire community, and building profitable sustainability. If you want to live a purpose-filled life, what better goal to guide your career is there than saving the planet? By having sustainable capitalism as a framework, even the smallest of startup companies can reduce energy usage and waste, which boosts profitability. Purpose-driven companies have increased employee morale, productivity, and retention rates. Lastly, companies that focus on sustainability today stay ahead of inevitable new environmental regulations that may catch their competition off guard. Being ahead of future government restrictions also ensures that their responsible supply chains will be available to meet the future needs of the company. End quote. This has been a summary of Future Proofing You, 12 Truths for Creating Opportunity, Maximizing Wealth, and Controlling Your Destiny in an Uncertain World, written by Jay Samet. Music